Charles E's, Charles E's, everything you need to know when you need to know it, man. Just watch the uh the video. Gully TV going at Mano, man. You know. Mano have been taking a couple shots at him on his new podcast. Taking a couple shots at Gully. Gully TV on his new podcast and shit. So, you know, Gully said, I, you know, I'm going to wait till it's all over. The murder unit. He just put out the murder unit. Go check that out. Bronx story. So, he said, I'm going to wait till it's all over. I'll put the murder unit out. Let it run up, do his numbers. Then, I'm going to be lying back to this nigga. Hit reverse on this nigga. Tear him up. Damn it, that's what he did, man. I ain't got to raise no razor in this motherfucker. I'm Jamil. Everybody know me. My nigga, you're not built like that. I'm pretty sure y'all done did thorough background checks and researches on me. And they gonna tell you, nah, we don't like him. Nothing like that. But everything that the nigga said, that shit for real. Everything that come out of his mouth, that shit for real. About paper, family about paper. Been flossing the whole time. Been an athlete, educated, all that shit. You ain't nothing, clown. You's a motherfucking glorified sneak thief. You had a relationship with a motherfucking plug, and you tied him up instead of going to a town and tying it down. Bum ass nigga. Now. 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 Get him the fuck out of here. Recently some shit came out about Mano cutting one of his homeboys and shit while he was playing cards. You know, you know, Mano basically built his reputation on on bully tactics, getting in the industry through the DVD era. You know, early to mid two thousands, early two thousands, when the DVD way was real heavy. You know, so Mano he he known for touching, he known for touching on cats, smacking them and shit. I first seen the video with him going at Bunky. Bunky a good sized dude. Bunky was talking his shit. So him and Mano running to each other in the motherfucking art gallery and shit. And the shit went down. So I'm like, damn. This nigga Mano, he he getting it in. Woo, woo, woo. But now, years later, now I I I I see that Bunky was like. By yourself outnumbered. And, and it really wasn't, it really wasn't Mano putting the work in. It was the guys around Mano, man, putting that work in, man. And he went on to, to lay hands on guys like Young Bird, which pretty much Young Bird is an industry pinata. He got some fame or whatever you want to call it from, from beating up Lil C's, another Lil nigga. You feel me? It seemed Mano like to play in the the five foot and under league. A smacking up, beating up little niggas and shit. Nigga, I'm by the conflict. You not. You didn't want no parts of a five three nigga. And all your peers talking about it. It used to be a secret. It ain't a secret no more. It ain't a secret no more. Now, Mano. Now, man, Jermaine, it's not a fucking secret no more. We know what happened with you and that 5-3 nigga. What you doing in a beef with a nigga 5-3? You always in a beef with a 5 foot. <laughs> Didn't your people have some problems with Rod Diggs, homeboy? We know that nigga was crazy. Didn't your people? You knew he was crazy, too. You knew he was crazy, too. You want the reputation of them niggas your age. You want the reputation of World and eBay and Rod Diggs. The niggas your age. You didn't do what they did, my nigga. You's a thief. You's a thief. You's a fucking thief. My fuckers don't even be wanting niggas like you around. Look at your conduct. You's a fucking thief. Fuck out of here. That, that's one thing, like, that's one thing in the hood. How you could tell niggas is really about that life and niggas who's not. It's a lot of niggas in the hood. Who pick and choose who they fuck with. Very few who take it how it come, man. But a lot of niggas, they like to pick and choose their battles. Build their rep on like that. Shit is crazy, man. That, that's just how it is. That's just how it is. You feel me? But you have a few niggas in every hood. Like, 
Like how I judge it is what nigga who went to war? What boss went to war with another boss nigga? You feel me? It's easy for a, a, a nigga with a rat or a so-called boss nigga to go to war with a little geek, a little, a little nobody, a little nothing, whatever. But how many of these niggas that got the reputation going to war against another nigga got a reputation? I mean, it ain't a lot, man. It ain't a lot. Like I said, a lot of shit, a lot of shit be picking, picking, choose, picking, chosen. You feel me? But you do get some niggas who take it how it come. They just don't give a fuck. They bought that life. They treat one like all, one size fit all for a can of ass whooping or whatever, whether it's gunplay, knife game, whatever. Man, is this the fallen of Mano who built his reputation on bullying niggas? Like I said, he done smacked up every nigga he pretty much done put work on that we know of to get in the industry has been little niggas. And then the nigga that, that he cut snuck him while he was playing cards was a little, he was like 5'3", boxing ball. And they said after that happened, they said boxing bar did that nigga dirty once it was on equal terms. But to move on a little nigga, and like Mano, I think Mano might be at least 6'1, six, 6'1, six six give or take. To move on a little nigga, not saying it's nothing about, about little niggas, cause they handle theirs just as well as anybody. But if you're supposed to be this big dog, this breathing, this dragon breathing fire, this great ball of fire nigga, hurricane, why would you sneak a little five foot nigga with a weapon? You must have knew something. You must have knew on equal terms, this nigga would have wiped the floor with your ass, which is exactly what he did. Y'all go check that. Y'all type in that boxing bar. He talking about how it all went down with Mano. They used to be friends. But nigga got, got backstabbed. You feel me? Check that shit out, man. We got to quit elevating these bullies. These niggas who like to pick and choose their battles, man. We got we to gotta quit that shit. Bosses go to war with bosses, man. Killers respect killers. You feel me? If you pick and choose your battle, that's a sign of weakness. If you pick and choose your battle, that's a sign of weakness, man. For real. Everybody ain't got that hand game. A lot of niggas want to pick up a weapon, a gun, a knife, whatever. Respect the niggas that's still willing to throw their hands, man. But a scared animal with his back against the wall is the most dangerous animal. So, that's why these niggas is picking up weapons, man. Are we seeing the falling of Mano? You know, Mano just recently started his little podcast, man. And uh, another thing about a lot of these... A lot of these dudes with, 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 with reputations who pick and choose their battles and whoop, 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 they don't know how to get that bag, man. Niggas don't pay attention to the quote-unquote tough guy in your hood. He not the nigga getting the bag. You feel me? He not the nigga getting the bag. Gully smoked this nigga's ass, man. I, and I, I want to see, I want to see what the motherfucking comeback gonna be is Mano just gonna brush it off but he gotta say something he gotta say something when WAC 100 came at Mano it was a different reaction I ain't gonna lie I was cause WAC 100 he been in the wrong a lot so when he came at Mano and they had their situation I was pulling for Mano man but I can't respect the bully man Mano you were supposed to have that same energy with WAC 100 man Super goon, super gorilla. You feel me? Now, he backed into a corner because he wanted to play the tough guy, the bully all the time. Now, when somebody of the same somewhat size come at you, 
You got to respond. Because this is the path you chose. You got to respond. So I'm curious to see how this whole situation go. Curious to see it, man. This shit crazy, man. Subscribe, share, like, hit that notification button, man. Help me get in that search engine fast. Help me be easier to find for y'all. It notifies you when I'm uploading this heat. Check out my Instagram. It's Charles Eags. It's the same thing. It's the uh, YouTube. Check out Sean Keys. That's my Facebook. Fuck with your boy, man. I'm bringing this heat. Got so much more going for you. Get in my comments. Let me know what y'all think about this whole situation. Gully TV going at Jermaine. Going at Maino. Look up that boxing bar video, man. The one that Maino stole on. Why he was playing cards, man. Pay attention to some of these old beefs. Like I said, it's been a list of niggas. Five foot that this man built his industry reputation off of. Pay attention to that shit. How niggas pick and choose their wars and don't take it how it come. Like I said, boss niggas go to war with boss niggas. You feel me? They don't go to war with lower level niggas. They might send an underlink to handle that. But that's it. Pay attention to this shit, man. Y'all quit listening to these fake tough guys and shit, man. Make these niggas prove that shit. Make these niggas prove that shit, man. Quit listening to them. Go to school. Get your education. Get a job. Work and take care of your family is always cool. You feel me? Being a free man is always cool. It's your boy Charles E's. Overnight rich music on the way. The label on the way. We out the mud. We bringing this shit forth. Putting on for my city. Y'all know what it is. The 614. Shout out to every independent artist or independent entity. Just got something going on in my city, man. I love that shit. Putting on for the city. The independent movements. That's what it's about, man. Subscribe, share, like this video. Fuck with your boy, man. We gonna bring the ladies out. We, we gonna party. We gonna party again, man. We gonna party for this one. For real. Once the right niggas get on top, hey, everybody eats. When the right niggas rise, everybody eats, man. We elevate, everybody see the views. Everybody see the beautiful views when we elevate. You feel me? When we get in them forums, everybody get to feel that, that coach leather. That double stitch. Get to smell that console, that carbon fiber. Console, man. Charles E's, man. I can't say it enough. When you say Charles E's, you say yourself. You say your city, man. Putting on for the city. Don't mean to be long-winded, Charles E's. Everything you need to know. When you need to know, that's my time. Out.